Okay, this is a short video demonstrating how to um, use the Octopus 2 servo driver uh, from Tan Valley Depot. It can automatically uh, find the endpoints, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So here I've got a mounting kit. So it comes with this, which is the actual mounting. It has on this side some double sticky tape. You use this to initially position it and hold it in place until you get it where you want and then you should add these two screws uh, later. Uh, the double sticky tape will hold it for quite a while but uh, I think you know over the years it will eventually let go. Uh, you have to wrap this uh, wire down below the servo like that. See and then place it into there. Now it actually will hold with a press fit. If you want you can use some sort of wire or maybe a piece of hot glue or something to hold it in but um, I've mounted quite a few of these without doing that. Um, the hardest part is actually bending this wire and getting it connected to the servo horn here. Um, there's other ways you can mount wires to servo horns. Uh, there's all sorts of clever things made with screw connectors and stuff but um, over the years I've discovered that bending a wire is really the best and safest thing to do. This will hold forever. It will never come off. Whereas if you use a set screw eventually it works out and it comes apart and you have to redo it. So this this is our servo here. Now I'm, I'm moving the servo horn back and forth to demonstrate this. Actually I don't really recommend um, doing what I'm doing here because if you're not careful and you put too much pressure on you can actually strip these nylon gears so um, leave this to the experts okay uh, I'm going to add a servo extension here when you plug these servo extensions together notice there's a white wire here and a white wire here so you want to make sure that that goes like that now the white wire goes in board the board marked S for signal red and black. So we'll put this in position number zero, like that. And then I'm going to take all these jumpers off here and put this centering jumper on. So what that does is when I put this jumper on center, is it holds this applies power to the servo and puts it in the center. The reason I want to do that is the most critical thing about the, putting this onto the switch is that you have it centered when you put it on. If you do that then the um, alignment will go quite quickly. If you put it off the center then you can have some troubles. So I'm going to pull this double sticky tape out. There we go. Okay. Now I've got a nice little slot drilled here for my servo. And then the tricky part, of course, is putting it in that hole down there. But uh, it's easy, of course, when you can do it like this. It's a little harder when you're underneath the layout. But So I've got it up through the hole there. And now I want the switch points to be centered. They don't have to be centered exactly. But uh, they shouldn't also be pressing against one side or the other. So they can be to one side or another, but you don't want them pressing firmly against there. Otherwise, it won't be able to find the endpoint because it's going to start in the center and look to one direction and then go to the center and look in the other direction. So it's got to be between the two positions. You So we want this to be, this selector here, to be in the same corresponding position right now. It's pointing towards 3, so I need to have it pointing towards 0. zero. Now what we need to do is press the button marked Align for about one second. Press that, and I'll let go of it, and you see this LED is rapidly flashing. That's telling us that it is aligning. So what's happening is that this is going to be slowly moved from one side to the other. It's going so slowly we can't really there's much to see. I'll see if I zoom in a little bit here. 
Yeah, you see it just sort of ticking over there as it slowly moves from one side to the other. The point's moving over towards one stock rail. There we go. It's found the endpoint. Now it goes back to the center. And now it's going to find the other endpoint. There we go. Okay, so it's found the endpoint. Now we can swap the endpoints by pushing the line button briefly.